Hello, and welcome to FBLA PBL's webinar titled Involving the Pros. Ever wish you could get your chapter more involved with the local business community? Ever needed to plan a field trip for your chapter or book a guest speaker and didn't know where to start? Today's webinar will provide tips on how to tap into a well-primed but underused resource, the FBLA PBL Professional Division members. My name is Marisa Price, and I am the Communications and Publications Manager. I will serve as today's moderator. We encourage you to submit questions at any time during the broadcast using the GoToWebinar toolbar at the top right of your screen. We will go over questions at the end of this presentation. Just as a reminder, we will be recording this webinar, and it will be available to download on our YouTube channel tomorrow. Okay, I will now turn it over to our membership director, Lisa Smothers, who will introduce our guest speaker for today's webinar. Thank you, Marisa. Our guest speaker for this session is the Professional Division National President. He currently serves as the Communications Director for a U.S. Congressman in Washington, D.C., holds a Bachelor of Arts in Politics from Hendricks College in Conway, Arkansas, and a Master's of Arts in Public Communication from American University in Washington, D.C. His journey in FBLA PBL began in 1998 in the FBLA Middle Level Division and he has been an active member and officer in all levels of the organization since. He served as a state officer in Arkansas FBLA and PBL, reactivating his PBL chapter as a freshman, as PBL National Parliamentarian and PBL National Southern Region Vice President. He's a strong advocate for FBLA PBL, noting the skills, self-confidence, and networking the organization offers its members lead to success, not only in business, but in any career. Please welcome Brad Howard. Thank you, Lisa. As a member of the FBLA Middle Level, FBLA, PBL, and now the Professional Division, I can attest to what our association can offer its members. We truly are unique. We are one of those few associations out there that can truly call itself a lifetime association. You can be a part of FBLA PBL from the fifth grade through the rest of your life. Now, most of you are familiar with our three student divisions, the FBLA middle level for fifth through eighth grade, FBLA for ninth through twelfth grade, and Phi Beta Lambda for the college division. Our fourth division is the FBLA PBL professional division, designed for working professionals. The professional division offers established business persons the chance to help, teach, and encourage the rising generation of business leaders. Now, who are professional division members? We've got a variety of them. They're alumni, educators, administrators, business professionals, parents, and government officials. These are the people who are ready and willing to engage with you and your members at the local level. Professional division members support the association's mission of bringing business and education together in a positive working relationship through innovative leadership and career development programs. Our professional division members enhance the chapter and its activities by interacting with members and by serving as mentors at local and state chapters. Many PD members help students prepare for the various competitive events or help them work on the business plan competition. Many professional division members mentor FBLA PBL members by providing career counseling, job shadowing opportunities, and presenting workshops and speeches on current business trends such as business ethics, how to obtain summer internships, and how to dress and prepare for job interviews. So what exactly do we do? We serve as liaisons between business and the classroom. Many local chapters use our professional members to form an advisory council that meets with the advisor and officers and shares opinions and ideas on fundraising chapter projects and preparing for comp the competitive events. We also help share real life experiences at meetings. Professional vision members can serve as guest speakers at a chapter meeting or an open house. And uh, FBLA PBL Week is actually a great time to plan uh, for that type of an event where you can invite a professional vision member to come and speak to your chapter. We can also help arrange tours or, uh, you know, you can go and visit a business. Uh, you can, we, we help guide members as they prepare for competitive events, whether it be a speaking event, an interview event, a written event, or a chapter project and report event. Primarily, we help judge at local, state, and national competitions. And we also help chapters fundraise by offering scholarships and giving other financial support to students who compete at state and national conferences. Many students actually look for fundraise, look for, toward funding for state and national conferences, 
and look to their mentors to teach them how to reach out to possible funders through letters and or presentations. Primarily, our goal is to connect current business professionals with tomorrow's business leaders in a way that's mutually beneficial for both. Now, the focus of our presentation today is about engaging your professional division members. So how do you bring them on board? How do you bring them into your chapter? And how do you utilize this tremendous asset that we have for our members? So I wanted to take some time today and go through uh, some of the some of possible engagement activities that your professional division national officers have come up with, that we've heard at workshops, that we've given at national conferences from around the country. Uh, a lot of these ideas are based on what members uh, from other chapters have done before and have had success with. So, you know, the number one concern we hear from our members is that, you know, it's it's not that they don't have time to to get involved, it's that they're just not asked to get involved. And so they don't know how to get involved. So really it's incumbent upon our local chapters to reach out to your professional division members, bring them in, ask them what you know, ask them if they'd like to help, and learn their expertise, learn what they're interested in, and then plan accordingly. So here are some ideas we just want to share with you. Now, one of the things we're proposing this year as national officers uh, is, is a new activity during FBLA PBL week, which is the second week of February, and we're proposing a professional division engagement day. It's really an opportunity for you to plan an entire day around engaging your professional division members, about hosting some type of an event. Uh, you can invite you know, the members and other businesses and community leaders to speak at a local chapter meeting, to share their expertise, or to talk about some aspect of business. Uh, you, know, you can poll the students, see what they're interested in hearing about, and those, there's, a, there's a lot of opportunities there. But Focusing on one day will really help highlight your PD members, show your appreciation for supporting FBLA PBL, and uh, really trying to connect them with your students. Some other possible ideas uh, include sponsoring some type of networking section between chapter members and business professionals. Uh, you know, maybe like a small luncheon or uh, you know a small thing, a small event after after classes where you you know you have a little uh, some food and, and then you know and uh, just kind of a casual atmosphere that people can get to know some of your professional vision members and these could be you know community leaders uh, business persons people in the city council those types of things uh, basically we want to give you the our members our student members the chance to work one-on-one -on -one with experienced leaders who who have have experienced what it takes to succeed in the business world and to help our students learn what employers are looking for in their future employees. Uh, I mentioned before you can tour a local business or a government office. Um, you can also uh, help sponsor, set up uh, mock job interviews, invite your professional vision members in to come and, and interview your students so they can help practice and prepare for uh, the real life job interviews that await them. Um, you know, February 2nd, and some more activities, February 2nd is National Job Shadow Day. So arranging a one-day job shadowing opportunity. Uh, you know, it, even if, if the company doesn't have internships, they'll certainly let you job shadow some people within their company. So if a student thinks they're interested in, say, advertising or marketing, they could spend a day you know, following around an, uh, a, a graphic designer or an advertising executive or a copywriter or a broadcast production person just to get a feel for what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, your chapter could also host a career internship day, inviting local businesses to showcase their businesses to students. So kind of like an internship expo of sorts you could host at your college. And a lot of schools have had success with creating an, a business advisory council, which is, you know, it could be anywhere from 5 to 15 members who uh, are professional vision members who give strategic advice to your chapter, help you guys fundraise, uh, help prepare your students for competitive events. They're kind of your turn to resource. and so. Um, you know, it could be as small, like I said, as three or four or five or, you know, as much as 15, but it's, it's a great resource for your chapter. Uh, some more activities we talked about, uh, February 11th uh, is FBLA PBL National Community Service Day. So, for instance, that's a great opportunity to sponsor a community service project with a professional vision member or, you know, a, a local business, you know, because one of our tenants is, is service. And so we really focus around that. We encourage you know, our student members to get involved in the community. But businesses and even government officials are really looking at this, you know, this new area called corporate social responsibility, which is where people want to shop at companies that are socially responsible. So they're always looking for ways to get involved to clean up a park or clean up a highway or work with inner city youth or uh, you know, mentor or counsel or you know, do something of the sorts. And you know, people want to shop at businesses that are good businesses. And so businesses want to get that image out there. And so by partnering with them, the students get the interaction with business professionals. You both get the opportunity to help someone in need 
and then you get the PR from it. And so it's a win-win for both people involved. You know, one of our other goals of FBLA PBL is to facilitate the transition from school to work. You know, and obviously uh, there's a lot you could do with that. You know, chapters could ask a local professional division member or business person to sponsor a workshop on resume building. You can either, some people don't have time to go to a school, so you can send them resumes and they can write and leave comments and feedback for their students and can turn them back in. Um, you know, but the biggest one that, and one thing as a person who works in politics is, uh, you know, I really like, would like to see our student members more engaged with uh, our, our civic leaders and our government officials, simply because uh, you know now is the time that we are uh, now is the time that a lot of governments are considering pretty drastic budget cuts, and so a lot of what that gets slashed first is extracurricular programs and you know uh, uh, associations or organizations like FBLA PBL. So we really want our people who are making those decisions are leaders to be aware of FBLA PBL. And so one of the ways you can do that is go into a local city council or school board meeting and making a presentation on this is what FBLA PBL is, this is what we do, this is what we're doing in the community, this is what we did at nationals, this is what we did at state. You know, our students are taking time out of class and after, you know, after classes are over to better themselves. And it truly is changing lives and this is why we think you should support funding for FBLA PBL. And so just, it, 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 FBLA PBL then becomes more than a line item on a budget. It truly becomes something that will impact students' lives. And if you can convince our policy decision makers to do that, uh, then it, it, it really would be a benefit for your local chapter and for our national association as a whole. Um, so those are just some of the ideas I wanted to run through. I wanted to give you a chance to, um, you know, understand some of the possible activities that are out there. Uh, there are a ton of ideas that, and they're not all limited to what we've discussed in here. There are a lot more out there. Um, brainstorm on the beginning of the year, or it's not too late to do it now. Sit down with your students, gauge what they want from real world business professionals. Set activities, a list of activities. Put, uh, you know, a lot of times chapters will appoint someone within their local chapter office or team to be the professional vision liaison. Um, or you know the VP of outreach or something like that, but that one student will be the sole interaction with the professional division members, and they can be the ones in charge of, you know, recruiting and 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 reaching out to PD members to keep them on board from year to year. But truly have a conversation with your students and see what they want to get out of it. What kind of programs and activities are they looking for? You know, do they, would they prefer internships or would they prefer, you know, resume building workshops? You know, those types of things, and then plan accordingly and and make your students really go out into the community and, and present themselves to these business professionals and sell the organization, sell what they're doing, and really get them involved because what that does, and I can tell from experience, that it really helps boost your self-confidence. And really heading into college and even heading into the workforce, confidence is huge. It, it really, you know, when you, when you lose confidence, it, it really comes over well to potential employers or, or mission counselors even. So allowing your students to really, you know, do those things. We've also, if you, on our website at fbla-pbl.org, uh, if you click on the professional division tab and then go down to the document library, there's something called the how-to kit. And the how-to kit is pages upon pages upon pages of ideas, recruitment ideas, retention ideas. There are sample letters, sample, say, renewal letters to renew your membership, uh, other ideas to uh, go out to the community and, and how to present to them. There's also a PowerPoint on there about the professional division. So if, say you're presenting to a city council or you're presenting to a potential um, you know, professional division member, you have a PowerPoint handy that's also on the website. And finally, under the professional division tab, there's also a join now button. So uh, someone, a professional division member can join online on their own or you could do it when you go in to uh, register your student members, you can register professional division members in the same way. Or the third option is there is a PDF that you can print out, and it's just if you go to fbla.pbl.org, professional vision tab, you'll see a join now button, and underneath it says you can print a membership application. So you can just print the PDF, and you could take that to members, have them sign, get their information, and then register. And finally, one other thing, uh, you know, a lot of times you can't get say government officials to join as PD members, but you would certainly like for them to be a popular thing that a lot of chapters are doing or presenting. Um, honorary memberships. So the chapter itself will purchase a professional vision member membership for their mayor, for their you know, city councilman, for their governor, 
and then they will go and present that and make a big hoopla with the press. And uh, you know, as someone who works for a government leader, I can tell you it's all about the free press. So they really, really uh, will utilize any opportunity similar to that. So if there's a way you want to say thank you for supporting FBLA PBL, thank you for supporting education. Uh, that really is a, is a good way to do it, is presenting an honorary membership. So, and then finally, whatever you do, I, and I think it's something we don't do enough, is, is really, you know, I don't, go out there and get publicity for it. So, you know, your community service project or your students competing at nationals, really getting your organization's name and your chapter's name and attention out into the media is a great way to reach out in the community. So, you know, if your students do something good, you know, alert the local press to it. Let them know what that's, there are students out there that are doing good things and that there are those who are pushing themselves to the next limit. Um, and, and, and that will, in turn, uh, do great things for your chapter. So um, I wanted to tell you real quick before we move on to questions, you know, there, uh, there are three division, three national officers in the professional division. I'm, of course, I'm your president, Brad Howard. Um, Eric McGarvey is our national vice president. He's from North Carolina. Kelvin Hill is our national secretary treasurer. He's from Mississippi. You have our emails there, but anytime you want to just bounce some ideas around, get a list of ideas, get a list of membership um, of uh, professional division members in your area, you know, shoot anyone with some email. We'll be happy to help you in any way we can. So uh, you know, and if you have ideas on stuff that we can do to better reach out to our members or to uh, spread ideas around, we'd be happy to hear those as well. So uh, that's all I have, and I think now we're going to turn it over to questions. That's right. Thank you, Brad. Okay, we had a couple of questions come in, Brad, while you were um, presenting. The first comes uh, from Michael. I believe he's in Texas. And Michael had a great question. He wants to know, where can he get a list of the professional members in his area or his state? Uh, well, like I said, you can always email your professional division officer, or you can email the national office at membership uh, at fbla.org, um, and they'll get you a list. But I, what I would recommend just to which would probably be quicker and more effective is if you really reach out to your state key contacts, whether your state advisor, your state chair, um, and ask for a list of professional vision members within your state because uh, you know they'll they'll be able to get that information to you. Uh, and it, it's they'll also uh, you know you, you'll be able to have a better relationship with your state key contact. But they uh, you know and that would engage everyone around on your state level. So I encourage you to do that. If if you don't have a state key contact or you don't know who they are, again, you can email us anytime at membership at fbla.org or at my email at pdpres, P-R-E-S, at fbla.org. Great. Okay, Carly wants to know, what are good ideas for a high school chapter who wants to make some business tours? It's a great idea. Business tours are great because the students love it um, and, and, you know, businesses love it because, uh, you know, businesses are always looking for good students within the community to recruit to come work for them one day. Uh, but you know, generally, you know, what I would do is start with your local start with your local connections. So, if you have a student whose parent works for a company, obviously start with that because that's going to be your easiest, your bet. Or if you have friends who work for a local business, um, you know, obviously use, using those connections is easier than cold calling. But you know, cold calling is is, is just as good. Uh, you know, just reaching out to someone. If there's a business that a lot of students have interested, in, you know, uh, news stations. Like TV news stations are always great because students love going to those. Uh, you know, uh, big big factories that make stuff. So, you know, I, I believe I toured Planters Peanuts, which actually was a pretty cool tour. And I think at an NFLC once in Louisville, I toured the Louisville uh, Slugger Museum, which was really cool. You know, as a baseball fan. So, uh, there are a lot of different things within your community you can tour, uh, and it's just simply just calling and asking. You know, I just find the journal number and just say, hey. You know, I really want to, you know, bring some of my students by. They really think it'd be a really neat thing to tour your, uh, your business. And most of the time, they're going to overwhelmingly uh, accept that invitation. Uh, you know, and, and be glad to do it. So, and even if you don't have like a big company, if you're from a small town, you know, even even taking your students and showing them the back room of a bit of a local business. This is how. This is a behind the scenes, you know, like a, a dry cleaning place even. It's kind of cool to see the stuff behind the scenes you don't ever get to see. And you make those connections, uh, you know, with that business person. So I would say, uh, you know, just get creative. Do a lot of things, even if you're, you know, the mayor's office, to get to see the mayor's office uh, or the newspaper printing operation or, um, you know, those types of things would be really cool to see. But, you know, just reach out. But most importantly, after the tour, have your students, you know, either you or your student officers send thank you notes because, uh, 
you know, they really are taking time out of their schedule, and you'd be surprised how much thank you notes make a difference nowadays, especially in the day of email. It's really nice to get like a hard copy thank you note in your hand that you could you can keep. So, uh, but yeah, just get creative and have fun with it. Great. Okay, we got a, uh, a few more questions, but I think they were specific to certain uh, chapter situations, so we'll get um, back to you, uh, advisors, uh, individually on those questions. Um, it looks like that's all the time we have for tonight. Um, again, just a reminder, we did record um, this webinar, and so if you'd like to share it at your next uh, chapter meeting, that's a great idea. We'll upload it to YouTube in the morning and uh, you can see our uh, YouTube channel address there on the screen. Thanks again, Brad, for coming out tonight. We appreciate it, as always. My pleasure. And real quick, Marisa, I wanted to sure. add, uh, you know, if you'd like to stay in touch with the professional division, we've got our Facebook and Twitter accounts up there. Um, on Facebook, you know, we send member updates, and there's a good discussion always going on there. Twitter, you can follow us at uh, twitter.com slash professional div, and, uh, you know, we just kind of post things that we think are relevant and interesting. Um, we're also on LinkedIn. There's no direct URL, but you just search for FLA People Professional Vision. And there's a lot of really good discussion that goes on on LinkedIn. So I hope you'll connect with us with social media um, and just stay in touch and just reach out, and we'll do anything we can to help you. Great. Thanks again, everyone, and please stay tuned for uh, next year's topics. Um, we uh, will have those to you uh, in the next uh, national briefings and advisor emails as they are scheduled. So happy holidays to everyone. Have a great uh, new year, and we'll see you in January.